Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought we'd have another look at our unusual spoon. Um, so obviously as you can see, I've kind of finished this off since the last episode. We've scooped out as much of the bowl as I'm willing to do. There's a little bit in the centre there um, which has got very, very sort of thin. So I'm going to leave that just for apart from a, a little final bit of sanding. Um, but that's basically what today is all about. Um, just sanding off, you know, getting this ready for finishing. Um, and what I thought I'd do is just show you another technique that I use, especially with sort of a, a sort of a serving or a cooking type spoon like this that's a little bit larger than your standard eating spoon. Um, and that's by using a strip of sandpaper. This is actually an old sanding belt um, that I've just sort of cut so that you've got the full length of it. Um, and what I'll do, let me bring the camera a bit closer in and I'll show you how it is I'll try and sand something like this. Right then guys, so for something like this, what I'd normally do is just take a small piece of wood, um, preferably something with a flat edge, and put that into my uh, tree stump. You know, you can use a workbench, you can use a vise, that kind of thing. The problem I find with vices for something like this is they're, they're fairly delicate by the time you get to this stage, um, and by trying to clamp it in a vise, there is a good chance that you could cause it some damage. Um, so this will go at the very front of my bench. I'm sitting on just my, my normal stool, and I'm just gonna take, um, an old piece of rag which is folded over a few times just to sort of prevent um, any discomfort to me and I'll put that just on sort of just between my chest and my stomach butt up the uh, the spoon against your stop and that's now nice and relatively secure you sort of lean forward ever so slightly into it just to apply enough pressure to keep it still and then you'll take your piece of sandpaper and the, the benefit of having something like this which is a nice long piece of sandpaper is that you can do a lot of work very very quickly so you're not sitting there doing this I mean, there's no no problem with doing it this way this is just a little bit quicker a little bit more effective and the idea is you're just doing sort of a backwards and forwards soaring motion Now it's probably less than 30 seconds worth of work and hopefully you can see there on the camera um, you know we've smoothed down there's still a little bit of work to do but they, we've smoothed down a hell of a lot of this very very quickly um, and also by doing it in this method if you're looking for that kind of rounded finish which I am for this particular handle um, the, the natural shape that this goes to will give you that rounded finish So again, another quick sort of 30 second blast, and hopefully you can see that certainly the difference between this part of the back of the spoon and this part here, which I've not touched, you know, it's very, very easy and very, very quick to do this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend another couple of minutes just smoothing down both sides of this, and I'll come back when we're ready to do the inside of the bowl. Right then guys, so that is the outer of the spoon pretty much done. I'll try and give you a little bit of a close up here. So the back of the bowl, um, this has all been sanded down to an 80 grit. And what I think I'm gonna do is the rest of the sanding sort of to a, maybe a 120 and a 240, I'll do between now and the next episode. Um, but you know, it's all looking pretty smooth. It's nice and rounded. Few little tool marks that will come out with the finer sanding. Um, and what we're left with here is now just the bowl. Um, now, I'm sure I've said before, if there's one thing I dislike about wood carving, it's sanding. Um, I do make a bit of a rod from my own back because I do like a sanded finish. Um, and if there's one thing I hate more than sanding, it's sanding the inside of bowls because they're just a bugger, if, if I'm completely honest. Now, I've got here just another piece of 80 grit. Um, this is uh, fabric backed sandpaper, which is what I prefer to use. And one tip, if you're trying to get into a bowl like this, take your sandpaper, and roll it up um, so that you've got the outer or the, under, the underside of the sandpaper showing. Give it a bit of a sort of a squeeze, let it unroll, and then do it the other way as well. Or what that will do is it will just slightly soften up the fabric, because it's quite a stiff fabric on here. Um, and by softening it up a little bit, what it will do is just make it a lot more flimsy. Um, so hopefully you can see that there. 
and that just allows you to get it inside the bowl a little bit more. Now for this stage what I'll normally do is just, again use just like a little uh, cloth pad um, just to give it some support and you're not pushing your newly sanded bowl down on top of another surface that could make it dirty um, and really it's just a case of getting in there and doing that sanding. Now again, I'm not going to bore you with this. Um, you can see there's a tiny little bit of progress made there. The problem with bowls is they, they do um, gather up a lot of tool marks. It's, it's the one area where I personally, I mean, there are a lot of better wood carvers out there than me, um, but I do find getting a smooth finish on a bowl just with uh, hand tools very difficult in comparison to the outer sides. Um, so what I'll do, I'll carry on doing this for a short while and I'll come back when we're done. Right then guys, well I think that's probably about it for today. So as you can see, we've completed the outside of the bowl barring uh, a little bit of sort of slightly finer sanding to come. And the inside of the bowl, again, there's still a few little tool marks in there. Um, I'll be honest, I've had enough of sanding for today, so I'll, I'll finish this off between now and the next episode when I go through the other grits. Um, but all in all, you know, as a slightly sort of odd little spoon shape, just to come out of a, a blank that I had laying around, you know, this is gonna be quite a nice little serving spoon. I may even use it as just a general cooking spoon. Um, but as I say guys, what I'll do, I'll make sure that I, I finish this off before the next episode um, and then it's just to go down to final finishing and I think because this is an eating spoon, I'll probably give this a couple of coats of oil um, and then maybe a little bit of my um, oil and beeswax finish just to finish it off, give it a nice little bit of a high sheen um, which is absolutely fine for, for cooking and for, for dishing things up and that kind of thing. Um, so anyway guys, I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.